Yes, and Mike and Cher, these new rounds of rains are causing new rounds of concerns, especially for the residents that live up here right above that slide area. What we see here in San Clemente uh, when we have the rain is that it, it soaks into the, the, the sand that's on our bluffs and we see movement days after uh, the rains. And so you can imagine fears are growing in San Clemente with the rains on their way and what this will mean for a coastal slope that's already been sliding. This man's condo complex sits on the cliff above the slide area. This last one pretty much pushed up against the bridge and then and that was like a couple of few weeks ago, then like two, three days ago, it just kept moving, pushed the bridge right off its foundation and it shut down the railroads. Crews have been working to clear the damaged Mariposa pedestrian beach bridge and shore up the hillside, at least temporarily, to get the trains running through the San Clemente area once again. So they have cleared off the two bridge spans that were damaged and they've been regrading the uh, the hillside there, clearing off the debris from the tracks, of course, and even putting riprap, large boulders down to stabilize that footing. City officials say a few freight trains ran this past weekend, but when Metrolink and Amtrak officials noticed that significant movement was still happening, all train service was halted again. It is very precarious out there and it's just sand, Mary Beth. So, you know, with just sand, that's what we have out here, sand mixed with clay. It's just very unstable. Crews are in the process of putting down tarps over the sandy slope to hopefully keep it in place through the rains. As far as all the plastic right now, it's temporary, but temporary could be all, all winter until the rain stops. Meantime, various engineers working with the Orange County Transportation Authority, private property owners, and this city are all working to come up with a more permanent solution. That's what they're going to do next week is get sort of all the engineers that have a plan and see if they can come to some sort of agreement. Now, as far as the tarps, well, crews work throughout the day putting the tarps on the lower portion of the hillside down near the railroad tracks. And then tomorrow, they're going to be working right underneath these homes over here, placing tarps there. For now, reporting live here in San Clemente, Mary Beth McDate. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Mary Beth, thank you.